Crypto Warriors and Sergeant Crypto back at it again. Today is Monday, August 3rd, 2020. Go ahead and give me a follow over here at Twitter at Sergeant Crypto 99. And the reason why I'm here is basically a community service alert kind of thing. Go give the guys over there at Altcoin Daily a help by retweeting and liking this pinned comment because their YouTube channel has been deleted. Urgent, YouTube has just terminated our channel, claiming that we were encouraging illegal activities. Now, I have no idea what illegal activities they were doing other than giving us the daily news and their opinions on certain projects in the crypto space, like what I do here on this channel. YouTube doesn't like crypto channels for whatever reason. Uh, we had a big crypto purge in December of 2019. and they seem like they're they're continuing with that starting off with these guys again uh give them a hand by retweeting liking commenting and in the comments please tag team youtube and youtube in the comments to let them know that they are making a mistake to fight against this you must smash the like on this video share the video comment in the video and even if the comment is yo sergeant crypto you stink i don't care just leave a comment this way uh, the YouTube algorithms knows that we have a real amount of audience here in the YouTube space. Let's get into it. Cryptocurrency gets strong boost from Thailand. 13 crypto services approved. So we have the Securities and Exchange Commission of Thailand granting a license to ERX trading platform to operate as a digital asset exchange, thus increasing the number of crypto exchanges in the country to six and the number of crypto platforms to 13. I like uh, like it when different countries and different jurisdictions around jurisdiction around the world are more accepting to crypto and blockchain. Unlike here in the United States, in the United States, especially in the space here in New York, which is supposed to be, I'm throwing up air quotes, well, it's not air quotes. It, it, it is the financial center of the world, New York. And that is why they are so harsh here in New York when it comes to uh, crypto companies and blockchain companies and just blockchain and fi any finance startup. They make it extremely hard for them to even get started because they're protecting themselves. They're protecting their, their own backyard. This is where all the big banks are and this is where Wall Street is. So they have to protect their six, so to speak. And I understand that. However, in doing so, they are limiting their own advantage. They're, they're shooting themselves in the foot, basically. They're shooting themselves in the foot because if they don't adapt and have crypto um, companies as partners or have crypto companies do business here, then they'll, they'll be losing out on a lot of business and revenue. That's just, you know, in my own opinion, of course, the clarity, clarity of cryptocurrency regulation in Thailand made the country an ideal place for exchanges to set up operations in Southeast Asia. Huobi Thailand, for example, is the local platform for global exchange Huobi. And yeah, they make it easier for crypto startups to go there and do business. Then people will take their laptops and go, go there and do business. Next, Ethereum won't give its USD $4 billion DeFi thrown to EOS and Tron anytime soon. Most of the total value locked in DeFi is locked into Ethereum based platforms and in, short, in the short term, it seems like things are going to stay this way. This is because growth among DeFi enabling blockchains will be, will come from network effects as much as technological utility and capacity the king of DeFi. that's that's what it is uh, ethereum is the king of all platforms the you know from the time of 2016 2017 with the icos right from those days where everybody built on ethereum to launch their project we're seeing that kind of thing happening again with the DeFi space. Although we have had in the past month or so Tron saying that they, they are coming out with their own uh, DeFi product and DeFi um, dApps for to launch on their platform, it's basically 
uh, second movers, second and third place. Ethereum already um, had things started. The, I guess it pays to be first. Next, former China Central Bank exec pushes for digital currencies. The former vice president of China Central Bank pushed for central bank digital currencies, positioning it as a substitute for cash in circulation. All right. Wang said digital currencies can shape, reshape monetary structures. These can include setting up basic accounts for all social entities on a central bank's digital currency platform, their ledger. This allows banks to supervise digital currencies without much impact on the current financial system. When, he, when he's talking about supervised digital currencies, right here, supervised digital currencies is basically you're use, using their ledger and stop payment, block a payment, track payments, and tr in turn, track you. See what you're doing and see if you're even paying your taxes or not and, and things of that nature. It's just another form of uh, tracking, and that's why CBDCs suck. Every country will adopt, adapt, um, adopt them, and start using them, and start to implement them. And it's yeah, it's it's a, it's the way of the future, basically. However, they still can't stop B Bitcoin because Bitcoin is decentralized and permissionless. And can be used anywhere and even on this website right here it starts off with what is Bitcoin this is I'll just play a quick snip right here whoops I don't have it um, I don't have the sound sorry <laughs> I'm not even going about well anyway CBDC suck China they're going to implement implement their CBDC so is Japan uh, it's if you're starting a crypto company, company, look into Thailand and Ethereum is the boss of DeFi. Let me know in the comment section below. Please comment below, smash a like, share this video. This is how we fight the YouTube algorithm and this is how we keep YouTube or crypto YouTube channels up. It's Audrey Crypto and I'm out. Peace.